Oh, what's up? Didn't see you there. You see, I have noticed that a lot of you guys' gym routines are plainer than the diet of a bodybuilder on a cut. Now, I realize that not everyone has 20 grand to spend on rogue fitness just for the sake of variety. So, I want to show you guys some DIY options that you can make without breaking the bank. Let's get into it. Number one, an axle bar. This thing is a pipe. And that is basically it. What you need is a pipe that is five centimeters or two inches in diameter. Cut it to length, two meters and 20 centimeters or seven foot, the length of a barbell. Put a clamp on either side so you got yourself a sleeve. And there you go. You have yourself a specialty bar and a very usable second barbell. A couple of reasons why you should build an axle bar. Number one, it's great for your grip. Number two, it makes deadlifts very difficult. Number three, it looks cool. Number four, it's a fun project. Number five, it's a beater bar. Number six, how many reasons do you need? Go make a freaking axle bar. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Moving on. Number two, tire bumper plates. What you have to do is you have to find some really old, really ugly tires that nobody wants to put in their car anymore. Be sure that the center hub is around about five centimeters in diameter. Weld a steel pipe in the middle that goes until the center of your uh, tire here. And there you go. You got some freaking bumper plates. Yeah. Number three. A loading pin. While you're shopping for a piece of pipe for your axle bar, you might as well purchase a little bit of extra and make one of these. Here's how it works. I was lucky enough to find this piece, which already has this construction here to stop the plate. But you can always just put a clamp on the bottom of a piece of pipe. At the other side, you're going to drill a hole, put a bolt through it with two nuts on the inside to keep it in place. Put a little ring through there, which you can put your carabiner on. Now, going to slice right, your plate on there and you can use this in like a uh, homemade cable pulley or if you're going to be building one of these you might as well it's a one-man show guys you might as well make one of these goofy little grip implements it's a block with a eye on it and get your grip going Farmer walk handles. What we have here is essentially the exact same construction as the axle bar was previously mentioned. We have a five centimeter diameter pipe, cut it down to about 160 centimeters, put a clamp on either side for a little sleeve, and they are gonna get a three centimeter diameter pipe, cut it down to 15 centimeters, get two threaded rods here to connect it to, and then put eight nuts on the things to uh, connect them together. Make a second one, and you got yourself some farm walk handles. Builds your grip, builds your back, does everything. <sighs> Onto the most ambitious product of the bunch, the homemade log. What you need is a tree. It needs to be preferably about 140 to 160 centimeters in length with the same diameter just about over the entire length of it. It needs to be about 25 to 30 centimeters in diameter. That will give you a uh, good thickness. After you've cut the ends off, you're going to get a chainsaw. Hopefully you've cut the ends with a chainsaw as well, otherwise there will be a lot of work. Get your chainsaw and make two holes that are 15 by 15 centimeters, 20 centimeters deep. You get 45 centimeters of space in between those holes. After you've done that, drill some holes to the center of the log and smash some 30 centimeter or 30 millimeter handles through it that are obviously the length of the diameter of the log. 
get your chainsaw, get some uh, nice artistic curves in there, throw some rope on the end, and then to add some sleeves, you're going to drill a hole into the side of the log and smash a steel pipe on the inside. Pretty simple. Probably a 30 minute project or 30 hours. I don't know. Good luck. So there you go, guys. Give this idea a shot and let me know what you think. If you want to see more mediocre videos, just like this one, drop a like down below and go ahead and subscribe. Thanks for watching and peace out.